too. Back at you with another Chirac Gang King. A Chirac Killer. And today we're going to be talking about Jerome Craft, aka MMG Rome. On me, I be taking risks. These guns in the hood, hot reds on air, minute you see it blue and white car with a dick. I be chopping hard, trying to make a flip. Sure. On the booth, rapping hard, getting rich. Studio. My fans steady telling me keep making music. Said I just hard. keep doing hits. hits. I got bad bitches on my left and right, Swat. and killers all on my right and left. Yeah. That broke shit is no more. Uh-huh. That getting money, bitch. I got a Nike check. I my world so much, Nike might invest. Yeah. Keep your mouth closed, but it might be best. Uh-huh. My shorties killing, making niggas stay Show up in the crib like they own house of rest. Who run the hundreds? Ask fifth this I bet you that. Now, MMG Rome was a certified killer. He was from the low end. Before he would ever touch 105th and become a gang king and a gang operator. MMG Rome always had bad blood in him. He led a small group that went to Corliss High School and that also went to Coon Elementary School on 104th Street in State. That group was called Goon Town. As Rome put it together Goon Town with over 40, 50 members within the first week, they took over Chicago in the 105th neighborhood. Their main places they used to post was at Cone School, Lafayette, or sometimes on Perry, AKA Dirty Perry. They ran the 105th in state. And the guy who was behind everything pulling the screens was MMG Rome. They also connected with a lot of other locals in the area, like 103rd Street. They called it 10 Tree. They also merged with Yellow Line, Goonies, that was on the State Street, Strictly. And that was something that Zach TV made up. Nobody really knew the real story that Zach TV was Rome's cousin and he basically boosted his career. Now back to Goontown, as they merge all three gangs in one and becomes GTC, and that stands for Goontown Crazy. They had a lot of murders under their belt and another small town local gang that ran 109th Street called Prince Town didn't like what Goontown was doing, so they made beef with them. One day they tried to squash it as Goontown and Princetown marches up 105th Street to let everybody know that they clicked up. After that, somebody did some funny shit and the war was back on with the two groups. They were shooting at each other back to back every day. Sometimes Princetown would shoot at Goontown and sometimes Goontown would shoot at Princetown. It was crazy as fuck, and it was over 15 murders in one week on 105th Street. And it was also like 7 murders on 109th Street. Goontown was specializing in applying pressure to their ops, which made them bleed tremendously as Cujo dies, as everyone in their past dies. It was crazy. And another small town local gang was starting to notice Goontown, and that was another click. And it was on 104th on Wentworth Street. They went by the name of Tenfo Well. As they rack up numerous diss songs on Goontown, Tenfo Well will merge with Prince Town Younger Generation, and they named their self Bang Town. So it was a full war within the hundreds. But everybody know who ran the hundreds. Because like I said, Goontown knew how to apply pressure to the ops. Rome was a certified killer and he was investigated in a lot of murders. They also said one day, Rome killed one of his friends that was playing with the gun. Rome was in the house one day playing with the gun. And from our resources, him and another guy accidentally killed their friend. And they took him to bury him or something like that. And Rome was investigated for the murder. He was also getting caught with a lot of handgun weapons throughout the hundreds. He was a gangster disciple and he played no games. When a lot of people looked in Rome's eyes, they feared him. That's why they knew that he was one of the leaders. As Goontown slowly starts to grow, they put together a, 
a list of men, over 200 men on the 105th that's claiming Goon Town. The police know about them and they were trying to stop them as best as they can. But it was so many cuts in Chicago that they can just shoot an op and run through the cut. Goontown was becoming a problem for mostly every gang around. As Rome's best friend, Marty, gets killed. And they names the block after Marty. And his game MMG. And that stands for Marty Muggy Gang. Now this new super click MMG is a branch off of Goontown. And these guys were certified killers. Goontown was killers, but these guys were grew up. And they lost one of their best friends, and that was Marty. So every night Goontown turns the fuck up on their ops, leaving five to six members dead. Setups, hit and runs, stop and shoots, you name it. Goon Town was holding down 105th, and they'll kill anybody that gets in their way. MMG Rome would always be a legend, and he started something that no one can finish. Like right now, they're still a Goon Town, and they're still crazy as fuck. Rome also got caught up one day when he had to perform one of his big performances. He was a nice rapper, and everybody liked it the way he rapped. He had bars like nobody else in Chicago as he issues out numerous diss songs to his ops, like Prince Town, Tempo L, Bang Town, you name it. Rome was always dissing the ops, as he should, and as he should apply pressure to him in the streets. They knew Rome wasn't just a rapper. They knew Rome was really a killer. So when they responded back, the only name they said was Rome's. Because he lives up to that name. And he'll kill you. Daytime or nighttime. Rome was snatched off stage during a performance by the U.S. Chicago Marshals. And it was for a murder. They threw him away like a dog and locked him in a cage. And they also gave him 16 years for the killings of two men from 109th Street. As Act TV throws money down on his lawyers and try to get him out, his hands was tied. Rome was convicted of murder and he had to do the 16 years. So Rome is a fucking Sh Chirac God and he's actually a wild hundreds king. He ran the hundred and he also ran Goon Town and MMG. He ruled it with an iron fist and a lot of people had a lot to pay for dealing with this guy. So that's my bio on MMG Rome. Rest in peace, Zach TV. Y'all spam these comments. Let me know what y'all think. Did you like it? Uh, you know, who should I do next? And that's Call World TV. And we out of this thing. Gang. Like, they snatched your ass off stage, bro. Hell yeah, yeah, man. You know how the people play dirty monitoring Facebook and shit. That's how they do. Motherfuckers put up that they was going to perform. They snatched me up. Shit, money, dog. Motherfuckers definitely finna come home in August, man. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, man. Shit look real good. Real, real good. Everybody thought I was locked up for some murders and shit. Nah, it was, I was on the investigation for for a couple of murders and shit. Nah, but they couldn't put that shit on me, so they pent this goof ass attempt murder on me. You know, it ain't shit, man. Wow. So it's really an attempt murder. So I don't know. I saw that shit on TMZ, like when you first got booked. I think it was on TMZ or um, what, what was the other blog site they had it on? What uh, are you talking about? Rap catch up? Yeah, it was on rap catch up, and it was on some else that, that that said you had two bodies or something. You find two bodies. 14 p.m. Tuesday, August 15th, 2017. Right. As we all know, um, Rome, aka Jerome Crab, as the state would call him has been fighting his, his 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 case for quite some time now you know since he got snatched snatched off stage at his show 
and um uh october 2015 and whatever y'all know there was on tmz a rap catch up it was on every major blog site out here that's you know what i'm saying that deals with hip-hop so today was sentencing the judge found um you know I, I try to keep my personal life to a minimum you know what i'm saying uh but the judge you know she, last month or the month before she felt guilty or whatever, you know. Um, the prosecutor, the DA, they they used everything in their will to convict Shorty, to, to try to get him to max, you know what I'm saying? They, they wanted to slam him. Long story short, uh, um, the judge found him guilty. She gave that young man 16 years in the Illinois Department of Corrections. We block and go outside. We run this hundred shit. The house don't be outside. We put them on punishment. They don't be outside. And we don't take orders. Cause we do not understand. We don't understand. But we be on two things. We drill and get money, bitch. Get money and shoot. I'm Tiff on LK. And Rudy feel bitches. Fuck all them niggas. Prince, I'll be high. And the snakes, they be tricking. They be talking them free. Boy, you don't be gay, we geek in your room, you listen. How the fuck is you drilling with that you man? You say that you hear shit, you flexing, I doubt it, boy. Quit flexing, nigga. I watch Jamo and Timo grow up, and I know you ain't bout it, boy. Oh, we know you ain't bout it. You smoke Muggy and Larry and Marty, you say that they counted for? R.P. my bro. But you ain't kill no name you said, so what is you counting for? You ain't kill none of them. Now let's get on some real shit. Real we shit. ride to the wheel stop. Ride to the wheel stop. Prince Rude ain't on the item. He be lacking on wheel cop. Y'all ain't know you be a wet. I'm homing in Maple. The flats on the pill block. Rolling. Rolling. So that mean I'm rolling hard. Catch a Vic, give him grill shots. Boom, boom, boom. I'm holding this shit merch. I'm riding up with work. Where he at? The first one I catch lacking. The first one go get merch.